I'm Roger. And I'm Adam. And welcome to another episode of RC Street Shop's Product of the Week. <laughs> Today we're looking at the Kyosho RC Surfer 3, the Lost Edition. And this is a really cool, unique kind of RC guy. It, well, in general, it's the first time, well, I think, I think we had someone bring something like this in for repair at one point. It was point. a pile of junk, though. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Apparently, Kyosha has been known for these. They've done right. them in the past. They have. This time around, they've teamed up with Lost Surfboards, and right. they're the ones who did the graphics on the board. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's very much a Southern California, kind of Orange County vibe thing going on with this. And it's very cool. Um, it is. Before we dive in on more on what this is, what it's got, and all that fun stuff, what comes in the box? Uh, you get the Surfer Dude, the Surfboard. Battery, charger, radio, uh, I believe that's it. We uh, don't need any more than that. Yep, we get to give you tools. Good <laughs> stand, too. They give you tools. The siren, the little packaging inside also doubles as a stand. Right, you need tools to open it. Yeah. So, so uh, he is designed uh, out of the box to be lashed down. So what happens is there's some O-rings here. You take this apart, battery goes inside. Um, you run the loops over this into his feet, and apparently it's designed to keep it from breaking when he flips over. Right. Uh, right. They don't want the connection point to bend and give. And more interestingly, if it flips over, the boat is uh, the boat. <laughs> the hull the self -riding. is self riding. So combine that with the guy. Apparently, it's kind of designed just to bob back right. over, making it a lot easier to get it out there, not have to go retrieve. Right. Which, as you'll see in the video, we'll yeah. show some stock footage of it running. Uh, if it gets you know, uh, blown around in the waves. Mm -hmm. It's really cool because once the wave goes by, it, you'll see the surfer will just kind of pop up out of the water and he'll be right. He'll be he'll be upright, yeah. which is really cool. Uh, yeah, matter of fact, uh, watching uh, Kyosha's footage uh, of it out in the water, I was very impressed with uh, the way it handles. I mean, if you you, you got to look twice and very hard in order for it to realize it's not a guy on a surfboard. Right, so. right, and it, it's very maneuverable. That's the, like Adam said. That was one of the first things we noticed is. Uh, when it's out there on the water, it's really maneuverable. It steers quite well. Now, these haven't really been in fashion over the last few years, have they? Well, they're, RC surfers have... Um, there's been a few of them out there. Kyosho is really the only one that's a decent quality one that works okay. well. Right. Everything else out there, there's guys who tried to make them and all these different... There's a few different ones out there, but most of them are crap. Okay. And they don't really work that well. I mean, they take on water. They don't self write I mean, they don't... They're not as uh, as well engineered as the Kyosho model is. Now, speaking and, of taking on water in the engineering in Kyosho, mm -hmm. now uh, we've talked before about boats and water-based RC vehicles, and talking about you often want to avoid running them in salt water or being extremely careful about cleaning and being right. diligent about that because right. it'll eat up the electronics and everything right. inside. Uh, Kyosho is kind of saying this thing's going to be kind of bulletproof to water, that it's supposed to be very right. well sealed and that right. salt water right. shouldn't be an issue for this. Right, yeah. Kyosho said they took extra care in making sure it stays sealed mm -hmm. so you don't have any, any kind of problems with salt water seeping in there or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, the graphic on the board is really nice. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, I mean, obviously, clearly I'm not a surfer myself, but, <laughs> you know, uh, it definitely looks cool. I went and looked at their uh, site and. Uh, Another interesting thing is, you know, obviously we would love for you to stop by our shop and come check this out, but you're going to be able to pick this up not only in hobby shops, but you'll be able to pick it up in uh, lost, you know, any of the surfboard shops that carry lost product as well. So, so if you're in Iowa. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Just head to your local, head surf, to your local shop surf shop and uh, they'll hook you up. Right. Uh, let's see. What else is there to talk about this? Uh, let's see. Self-writing. Uh, use the Orion uh, technology. Right, this has an Orion uh, brush motor in it, and the neat thing about that is uh, this thing will have a ton of runtime. So the battery that comes with it will run for about 15 minutes. Okay. Uh, we, we talked to Kyosho at length about this. They said if you upgrade it to a LiPo, like a 4,000 or 5,000 milliamp LiPo, it literally will run for like 45 minutes. And it's LiPo ready. Too, yeah, it is so. LiPo ready. So with a LiPo upgrade, this thing will literally, it'll run, I mean, forever, it seems. I mean, for yeah. an electric to go that long is amazing. Um, hey, it's summertime. It's officially here. Right. Uh, you know, Fourth of July is approaching as we're shooting this, and uh, you know, a lot of folks will be heading to the beach. Boats are beginning to pick up in popularity mm -hmm. in the shop. And, and don't think that you have to run this thing 
at the ocean or in a wave either. Yeah. This thing's it's it's essentially an RC boat. Yeah. So you can take it to the lake and zoom yeah, around. Yeah. I mean, anywhere there's water, you can have a blast yeah. with this thing. You know, but uh, obviously half the fun is uh, trying to catch catch a half pipe with it. Right. Out there right. at the beach. Oh, so, totally. You know, it's the time of the year. What is the price point on this bad boy? Obviously, it includes everything we need. This so. uh, sells for about two thirty nine. Okay, that's not. But it's bad. actually not a bad deal at all. I mean, no. for a good quality Kyoto product. Um, figure's not adjustable, the head turns. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Is there only the one style, or are they doing multiple styles? At the moment, it's just this. Okay. So, I mean, they call it the Lost Edition. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's mainly, like you said, because they were put Lost Surfboards. Mm -hmm. uh, and as far as I know, there's not going to be any other editions. But that, that doesn't mean there's not going to be. Yeah. They just haven't announced anything yet. Yeah, uh, I know this particular graphic was designed by Mayhem over at Lost. He apparently does a lot of their stuff. He's mm -hmm. one of their in-house artists that does a lot of Those of you who surf would know who that is. Exactly, who are into that sort of thing. That will mean something to you. <laughs> and uh, to the rest of you, it just looks cool. So, right. Uh, I think that's going to do it. There's not a whole lot to say. It's a surfboard. It's a new release from Kyosho. Right. We just got it in. Yeah, literally like we just got it in today. Like just a few hours ago. Yeah. So we're showing it to you. And uh, get it out to you, let you guys make an educated decision on, do I want to add a surfboard to my RC line? Exactly. There's no reason you shouldn't. Exactly. Uh, if folks would actually like to check this out in person, is there somewhere they can do that here in Southern You California? certainly can at any place that carries lost surfboards. Or, more importantly, you go to RC Street Shop. Yay. 5521 East Spring Street, Long Beach, California. Not that far from the beach where you can run this guy. Exactly. Uh, let's see, and if folks cannot make it into the shop, uh, because they're geographically located, or they're busy at the beach, right. is there a way they can pick up the phone and give us a call? You certainly can. What number Even would if you're be? at the beach, you yeah. can call 562-425-9000. All right, and if you're shy, you'd rather send us an email, you can do that at info at rcstreetshop.com. We are also on social media. We are on Twitter, at rcstreetshop, all one word. We're also on the Facebook. You can like the page there. Keep up on things that way if you prefer. And, of course, we're doing the YouTube thing. We got videos, how-to videos, unboxing videos, all sorts of goodies there. So we would appreciate it if you'd like this video. But more importantly, subscribe! subscribe! Hit that subscribe button. Do it! We would appreciate it. Go on, do it. it. Every time you hit the subscribe button, we get a raise. Yeah, that's not true. No, it's not. But Adam gets his wings. Anyway, we appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you next time.